Okay, so what you're seeing before you is my laptop. And I've had so much success lately with Monjero that I wanted to install Monjero on my laptop. This laptop is responsible for two podcasts that I record. And I run K My Money for our, for our personal business and a 501c3. And I also do secretarial work, mostly LibreOffice type stuff for a 501c3. 100% Linux. There is no dual boot. If I can't make it happen in Linux, it ain't happening on this laptop. So I really wanted to... I wanted Monjero on this because I had so much success game machine. My son's my son's laptop game machine of with Monjero. I was thinking... You know, I'm going all in. I'm not going to do this half. I'm going all in. So, installed Manjaro on this thing. And it stayed on there for about three days. And before I go any further, I'm going to let you know that this is a touch screen laptop. And that's the only way I'm going to go around navigating this touch screen so you can see how well the touch screen works with KDE. And I think it's KDE. And I don't think it's distro specific i think it's kde that's doing all the magic the only complaint i've got with kde is you notice that my little pointer's moving around i'm clicking the screen i cannot click a link i can try to double click nothing is making audacity open up for some reason kde does not let you touch screen click on a desktop shortcut and I don't know why unless it's something to do with I have all my clicks set to one click instead of double click that might be part of it otherwise I have to come off of the link and drag across so that it gets highlighted and then after I've done that then I can hit enter that's my workaround so other than that I don't know why and I'm gonna click the X this is all touch screen touch screen bring up dolphin touch screen open a folder close dolphin everything I'm going to do in this entire video is going to be touch screen so a couple things I really like uh, let's go with the info this is plasma version 518 frameworks 568 those are both the exact same as my Monjero QT5 uh, version 5.12.5, Monjero is sitting at 5.14 something, and the kernel version is a little better in, in uh, Monjero. This is Kubuntu 20.04, it's not released yet, but it should be releasing probably any day now. Close that out, let's bring up one of the things I want to show you in this new version of KDE. If you if you scroll down, and this is all touch screen scrolling, one finger, no two finger, and I'm going to go to driver manager. The reason I had to remove Monjero was because of this. I have a Broadcom wireless using Broadcom 802.11 STA wireless driver BCM WL kernel source BCM 43142 is what Monjero kept installing and I had so much trouble out of it it wasn't even funny I don't know if that's a different thing than what this Kubuntu was using BCM WL kernel source I'm going to search that real quick on my game machine. I did a Pac-Man search BCMWL and I don't have a there is no result. There's no search result. So there is nothing BCMWL. I don't know what it's using for a driver. Let me close this out. Let me bring up console gonna do a quick a quickie quick uh, LS 
PCI so that you can see what it is. Broadcom BCM 43142 802.11bgn. Some reason Mongero just didn't like it, but uh, something else that's in this uh, KDE is night control. That is so cool. Right, there it is. And I don't know how I can bring up the settings without right clicking on it. I don't know what touch screen right click is. So I'm actually going to use the, this is the keypad, I'm going to right click. Now I'm going to touch the screen on that. So I don't have it activated, I guess you can see that, but if I do that, bring it down to, to uh, a warm color for nighttime and a cooler color, I guess, for daytime. And then turn it off. You saw the screen change colors a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And there was another thing I wanted you to see. Where is that? Using Discovery, go to Settings. And you've got your firmware updates right here. You've got L LVFS testing, LVFS, and vendor directory. I'm just going to leave it on the default. LVFS. But they've got that built into the settings now, so that's pretty cool. And like I said, I'm doing all this. Except for the right-clicking the night night view settings I'm doing everything with touch screen and it's working quite well I can resize the window So I know Kubuntu so well. I've used it for the better part of 14 years and I've used some kind of Ubuntu distro for most of 14 years. Kubuntu being the one that I've used the most. It took me 30 minutes to install this, upgrade it, and install everything that I needed to install. 30 minutes from start to finish. Not too shabby. Probably could get that good on Manjaro once I get used to it more. And it's definitely, I, I like it better for gaming purposes. My game, my main game, Neverwinter Online, works supremely well in Manjaro. But this laptop is probably going to stay Kubuntu. My wife's computer is probably going to stay Kubuntu. And my mom's computer is probably going to stay Kubuntu. Partly because Monjero just updates often. And I'm not going to say too often because it was too often that would be redundant. To have a rolling distro and say it updates too often. But it updates often and I don't need to have my wife and my mom trying to figure out how to do that often. It's just something that I can do every now and then and I'll take care of it. But anyway... This is Low Tech Linux. Thank you for watching. Until next time.